Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your first SSRS report without using any wizards. I want you to pay special attention to this video as concepts will get added in the coming videos. The goal of this video is twofold. Number one, I want to show you how to create an SSRS report. And number two, I want you to get acquainted with the Visual Studio tools. So let's jump to Visual Studio. All right, so I have Visual Studio open. So first what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and create a new project. So let me go ahead and choose report server project and I'll call this as first non wizard project, right? So essentially what I'm trying to do over here is I'm going to create a simple SSRS report without using any wizards, right? So in this way, you will see some of the simple tools and controls that you can use, and then you can leverage and, and you know, kind of add upon that as you go in, in the further lectures. All right, so once this loads up, if you go to toolbox, this is where all your controls will start appearing as you start building the reports. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Solution Explorer and let me just make some space. So you see there are three folders over here which we are going to add something to it. So first thing is I'm going to right click on reports and say add a new item. And it's going to give me a couple of options. What I'm going to do over here is I am going to create a non wizard report. And I'm going to select report and click on add. So as soon as I do that, you see a number of things happen, right? So First of all, in the center, you see some working space. This is where we will start creating our reports. On the side, you see a couple of folders being created. And if you go to the toolbox, you see some tools appearing, right? So we will make use of all these things. So first, what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and add a data source. Now, a data source is nothing but um, basically a connection string from where we need to grab the data. And then finally, um, you know, we'll use that data to display in the report in a particular format. So I'll call this as my data source. And I'll go ahead and configure a data source. So our SQL instance was SQL 2016. And I'm going to use SQL authentication. All right, so once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and choose AdventureWorks 2016. Now, in, in the previous lectures, you might have seen 2014. I just got a new um, uh, backup file as I was creating this video. Uh, it looked like it's, it's just the same database, but I uh, know it's a newer version, so I'm just using that. If you run a simple Google search, you will also get the 2016 AdventureWorks database. So I'll go ahead and choose that test the connection and if everything looks good next what i'm going to do is i am going to create a data set now a data set is nothing but basically a query think of it as a query right and uh, it'll become more clear as we go developing this report but it's just a set of query which queries against the data source that you created and then you know spits out uh, some rows of data so let me call this as my um, sales territory data set, something like this. And you can, of course, create a shared data set so that you can use among multiple reports or you can embed the data set. So don't worry too much about it. Just go along with me. I'm going to choose the data source that I just created, which is pointing to the AdventureWorks database. And I am going to use the query designer. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and just configure a few things. Our database connection string, once this is done, 
Okay, so this is kind of a graphical query designer. You can very well type in the query as well. But I'm going to show you something very simple here so that you get used to some of the available tools when you create the report. So if you click on the plus sign, it throws a bunch of tables, right, that you can add. And as and when you add these tables, when you double click, it will start appearing behind the scenes. Now you can definitely add multiple tables and join them. But for the simplicity of this lecture, I'm going to just use one table. All right. And then from that table, I need a couple of columns. And you see, as and when I start typing these or selecting these columns, it starts generating a query and you can actually click on this little exclamation mark and run that query as well and it'll show you the sample data. Now this is precisely the data that we want to display in the report, right? So you have everything ready now, click OK, and now is where you start designing the report. So if you go to the toolbox and let's try something simple. Let's actually, um, all right, let's do this. Let's drag a text box and then let's say, my first report. All right, and then I'm going to make this bold. I'm going to like increase the font. I'm going to center align this and maybe make this as Calibri. All right. And the next control, what I'm going to use is a table. And let me just make a little bit more bigger. All right. And if I go to my report data, there are a couple of columns here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop a couple of columns. Name, country, region, code, um, group, and sales YDD, right? Some simple stuff. I don't need this, so I'm going to delete the columns. All right. And then I can again play around with the font a little bit. I can make this bold underline and then maybe um, let me try something else font let me change this ah, that doesn't look good let me try something else all right um, all right so let me go ahead and maybe do something like this and so you get the get the picture right so it's it's like you know editing your text Again, for the simplicity um, sake, I'm just doing all this using the controls. You can definitely write expressions, change colors dynamically depending upon values, and, and we'll walk through some of the examples as well. So we have everything wired up now. Now, if you click on the preview tab, it will actually create that particular report for you. Ah, I didn't save the credentials. That's why it's asking me. Once I enter it, see, you have your first report. So this is how you would manually create a report. Now, this is like a very high level, very simple view of how, how you would create a report, right? Naturally, we'll keep adding more and more concepts like how do you filter this report, right? If you want only US country region code, or if you want the user to enter a country region code and just display the value, how do you do it? How do you aggregate it? How do you maybe show sales YTD in green color if it's above 7 million and if it's below 5 million, you show it in red color. There's so much of things you can do, right? So SSRS is a very, very highly flexible tool. It's, it's, it's much simpler to build on very simple stuff and then keep adding to it rather than throwing everything in one report. So we'll walk through each and every stage. So hopefully, hopefully you got acquainted to some of the tools and hopefully you can now start playing around with this tool a little bit. Now in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to edit this report and add some more features. So see you in the next lecture.